internet is stifling people's creativity and stunting their thinking power. Audience, you huge amount of resounding applause for all the participants and the rules and regulations, you can say. The debate is divided into three parts. First is presentation round, second is rebuttal round, and third one is jury round. In a presentation round, each candidate will speak for three minutes. It should be conducted in a two strokes. One candidate, that is a candidate from each team will be speaking. In a second go, B candidate from each team will be speaking as per the sitting right. I hope it is clear to you. Please both the participants will not be speaking alternatively. A candidate from one team, A candidate from second team, third team and fourth team. I hope it is quite crystal clear to you. And here you will have to give your answer with the limit of one minute. Last round is jury round. Our honorable judges will be asking one or two questions to you to check the in-depth knowledge of the participants on the topic. And the debaters will be assessed on the basis of the criteria content 25%, debating skills 25%, presentation skills 25%, counter argument 25%. Clear? Now I would like to invite the star participants of this debate competition to introduce themselves one by one. We can start from my team Plato. Monavati Vishwas from ACS Fort Mumbai. Pratiya Sarkar from ACS Fort Mumbai. Eva Nayan from ACS Three Karakur. Aditya Pandey from ACS Three Karakur. Shekhar Shinde from ACS1 Tarapur Neha Chha from ACS1 Tarapur Chumayi Kaabe from AGC Mumbai Prada Prada from AGC Mumbai Thank you very much. Please put your hands together for them. Dear audience. that 
forgotten. Before the French Revolution, ideas of democracy were spread through pamphlets, coffee houses, discussions, lectures, etc. Just imagine. If it were the 21st century, then all these efforts would have been replaced by one word, internet. Most of us today read the news on the net and use the books. Now, does that stunt our thinking abilities? By now, I am sure you must have got the answer. Here, I would like to conclude that creativity is the innermost quest of the human mind. It was there without the internet. It is there with us. No more, no less. Thank you. So, I saw the team. Good morning, respected of that. Excel plans on the internet is tightening creativity and starting their ability to think. And I stand here to support the motion. Internet is excellent, marvelous. But here we are to oppose excessive, excessive, excessive land on the internet because it stifles creativity and self thinking ability. This is what we want to highlight here. I hope all of you will be familiar with the famous quote that excess of anything is lethal, even if it is water. The main function of cerebral activity is to explore. But when everything, but when everything is present, available, present and on a platter, then there is no question of exploration. It then inquisitiveness and curiosity, quest and quench for the knowledge. The fire of thought is dropped off, but should use more brain and less of internet. Excessive plans on the internet makes one physically, mentally and psychologically sick and weak. Excessive plans on the internet stifles one's attention and this leads to distraction and deviation. But not to Our bodies are shaped by the food we eat, our brains are shaped by what we put into them. 
through interface, where is the process of building a global brain, where it shows that the more parts of the brain you connect it, the more creativity and insight the child will experience. The ability to get more information can spark more creativity and make us to reflect more. Do remember, no institution or company would ask you to copy or imitate others. But friends, the courage So, the positive effects of internet use have only just begun. And if we continue as we are and neglect the pessimistic doom mongers, then it won't be too long before we have arrived in a new age where true democracy and free flow of information are common. We really understand that internet obeys us with enhancements, but these enhancements but human being has to embrace all these enhancements in order to give a broader perspective to our life. So in a nutshell, internet has not tampered our ability to think and create. Rather, it has been a beacon light in providing us the right path. Thank you. Excessive reliance on internet is when we lack in our powers, underlying powers, to bring about the underlying beauty and originality to the fore. We can't earn food for thought, we accept junk for it. It is a little of my faith that creativity is getting suffocated under the heavy assault of internet, the hottest drug of teen town of the Netherlands. I salute the intent and the speed and size, 20 billion transistors of finger nail sized chips, memory film that can mirror a brain ability of storing multiple strands. And yes, charming to Android M net neutrality net ORG. <sighs> Texting, chatting, sneaking, hiking, downloading, uploading, but only these services so cheap. PPM chat on Skype, Uber, in buses, trains, station, stadium, the skill, speed, and spread of it so fast. Two, we really need this phone to pay them. Two, we really pick up fast by this. Human ball's eyes has just allowed the right to bear fruit. I, Gibson Doll, the beautiful being hiding inside me, could have woken up to find the magnificent and expressions of the wonders and glory of being human. Knowledge is vital, not information flood. And that's not all. Our emotional richness counts the most. The touch of my master's hand plays a timeless melody that otherwise had been unloved and unsung. Only by my voice and word could I become a blessing to many. It is that music we need, but it is that train be mine, Google Gobble. It is my body, mind, so continuum, which not only negated the death of my personality, but also empowered me to differentiate the painted. I strongly feel that there are three key social members who can make a nation of beautiful minds. They are the father, the mother, and the teacher. I excessively rely on them. There's little space for that fourth member, the internet. Friends, the missing piece of knowledge that we all aspire to get is in the Qurans, the Vedas, the teachings of Buddha, Swami Vivekananda, Babu and Gita. So friends, let's create a world worth living by defining how and why we need and not by what and when we need. Seekies, Aussies, Fortieers is the Olympic motto. Internet must find its own. Thank you.
further it tells you what has been done and what more you can think about and opens up to a array of possibilities, opportunities. What are you doing now? Sitting here, hearing us speak. You are thinking. Even as I speak, you are involuntarily thinking. Thinking, I hope there's something tasty for lunch today or maybe I am not Me here, involuntary action of our body. No one living or inanimate object can stunt your thinking, stop your thinking, but certainly can influence your thinking. It's a thought that counts. We have a worldwide web to our assignments. There has been a large increase in the startup culture in the last few years. And come in contact with new and progressive ideas. 
Information is there and it is up to us to get it. We can be very narrow minded and we are okay in our approach. So I think us, any and every kind of information is available. But it is up to us to use our discerning faculty to choose what is the best. Internet helps us to be more creative in approaching our problems and more integrative in our thinking. Studies say that emerging computerized technologies have physiological effects and potential benefits as it exercises and improves brain function. The general misconception is that new fresh technologies would put our brain into oblivion. But the reality is that internet is rewiring the brain and finding new neural pathways. The stimulation due to the usage of internet is concentrated mainly in frontal, temporal and secondary areas which control our visual imagery, decision making, creativity and memory. Hence for proving that our brain can evolve over the long term with the increased use of internet. Usage of internet has enhanced human intelligence as people are allowed unrestricted access to more information. Internet is a 2D force for man. Its expansion creates more avenues for man. The impact of internet is ubiquitous and it's changing the way we think and also helps in structuring our brains. The way people's morning of has changed and response to ubiquitous networking is great. Our brain is like any other muscle. If we do not stretch it, it gets stiff and curvy. But if we exercise it and cross it, it will be flexible, quick, strong and most important, versatile. We must start welcoming new things with a frolic head and open arms. A helping hand should never be chopped off. Culture is ever changing and if it remains static, it dies and changes the law of the nature. Hands of clock cannot do anti-clockwise. Internet is an institution that resists institutionalization. If the path is trodden cautiously and judiciously, there is no bigger boon than internet in the world. Thank you. I fully agree that internet is not only inhibiting our creativity but it's also stunting our critical and reflective thinking. In today's world, we seem to have created an environment with unlimited information and I'm guaranteed to push information to us all the time to our computers, smartphones, laptops and other devices. We can't for information, it is in our instincts. We all this small doses of dopamine, it is fairly understood by we have trained our brains to gather as much as wisdom and information dumps as quickly as helpful at the speed. But the transformation of mere information to knowledge that gives us the ability to think deeply, conceptually and critically is in scarcity. A tool a tool can never dictate a user, but today the very tool of unlimited information is becoming an addiction. An addiction so severe that it is put in the same page as narcotics and alcohol. In South Korea alone 2 million are addicted to the internet accounting for half of its teenage population. With similar figures worldwide and going after effects of internet addiction, the severe need for rehabilitation and digital detoxification centers are felt. The number of these being set up across the world prescribing people with digital diets. The times are not distant when citing social centers be common in India too. Because the benefits of the time spent on the internet, as my friends have here already said, may be the better visual acuity, hand-eye coordination, or multitasking skills, but they come with a trade-off. A trade-off of mindful knowledge acquisition, introspection, contemplation, creative, reflective, and critical thinking. Let me remind you why examinations happen offline. Without the keyboard or the ready regular, that is the internet. And as the internet today erases the distance between countries, we see growing efforts done by hate mongers to poison the minds of people. They may be access with sophisticated social media propaganda tactics or vitriolic speeches by pseudo clerics acting as inspiration for attackers such as in Dhaka. With cell trackers, sneaky cameras, any one of these fight today becomes an ethical hacker. Do we have any control on our own Facebook profile information? Is this the aesthetic value of life? Spamming, spooking, intruding into privacy, cyberbullying, hacking and closure attacks? Equality in ignorance becomes more than equality in excellence. Can we as digital kids ensure digital equality and skilled workforce contributing to our nation? An idea itself cannot change the world, my friends get the idea and work on it. Like Newton, Einstein, Tesla and Turing said. There is no free cup of tea in this world and as for privacy is concerned, it is an area of personhood, central to the dignity and individuality of an individual which cannot be included upon. The internet can be faster to the extent of Shaheen 2 or Titan, but it cannot be faster than the EQ or the mind of 200 billion neurons interconnected with trillions of synapses. So let us not restrict our speed of thoughts by restricting it to the pace of our mind's replica. Thank you. This presentation now. Dear deputies, you have brilliantly presented different perspectives on the topic 
kudos to you all. Now get ready for the second round, that is rebuttal round. Immediately we have to start the rebuttal round. So revitalize yourself and get ready. Judges, should we start the rebuttal round? Thank you, sir. Internet. 
because while learning on internet, it takes free online teachers available on internet. So I feel that, yes, I, I justify my point that it is wiring and rewiring the brain. My question is to Martin Dukla. You said that internet is helping hand. How excessive internet can? What about their health? Uh, I think... Um, and as it is destroying one caliber, caliber skill, making person lazy, what about you say? I think making person lazy is physical area, uh, physical area, but mentally a person is very much active than the one that is not using the name. If you compare the two, uh, I also mentioned that the net savvy and net nave group, the results showed the increased brain activity that ones that not, do not use net. And, uh, and relating it to health, uh, first, the uh, first problem that comes to our mind is about eyes. Nowadays, a number of glass sheets are available that can be used on the computer so that the eyes are not much affected. So, these products are reach to us only through internet because these are manufactured in some, uh, I think in America and they take about two to three years to come here but with the internet we can take it as it is invented we can search it and buy it so I think the uh, health is also maintained using internet Okay, so my question is to Plato one thing I very much like about uh, your speech is that you describe internet as a catalyst. Am I right? And from that we can assume that work is solution for you. Work is a solution for you. That the catalyst is helping in the reaction of solution. And bigger space and time. So tell me, what is the catalyst takes all the place even of the solution? If there is no solution, every, there is a beaker and a catalyst. That excessive internet is doing. It is just taking its whole place in the beaker. So, what are your views on it? Aristotle. Uh, uh, or rather, they are pointing out that excessive internet is not good, but internet might be good. Yeah, but how can you define what is excessive and what is optimal? Optimal is providing an opportunity, uh, triggering your thought base, giving you We should not restrict the thought of speech. But with the use of internet, we are not restricting the thought of speech, but we are restricting the speed needed to deliver the thoughts. So what what they want to speak on it? One, okay, we are not restricting the speed of thoughts, we are not thinking. Okay. And uh, as you said about the uh, about brain activity and scans, let me tell you there is something called plasticity of the brain, which is the neural network that you exercise get stronger, but the brain co comprehends those by reducing the efficiency of those neural pathways which are not used. And what is happening on the internet today is because of the excessive flood of trivial information that is coming to us, we only exercise our short term memory, and that is what you said, the prefrontal cortex, okay. But the real, or the, uh, what you call, the real essence of human wisdom comes from the short term memory, and there is a process in between which is called consolidation. And with the excessive amount of information coming to us, we are not giving that time for that intermediate process to happen. So what is happening is most of the information coming to us, we are predisposing our brains to forget. Okay, there is a saying in neurology that uh, neurons that fire together, wire together. And same goes for those who fire apart. So what is happening today is we are separating our decision making, but the information that is uh, you, that should be subdued in the subconscious and used when necessary in the future is not happening. Can I go and apply? Teachers and parents, but they also told that creativity is really disturbing ourselves. But can uh, can they told us that uh, can uh, can they tell me uh, that uh, more knowledge that is available on internet that much knowledge are available to parents or teachers? Internet that is the sensory information that you get on the internet is the sensory information. In order to re read, recite, and review, you have to make you have to make. 
about 50 percent of what we see. So I think internet provides us with all these three in together in a one plat platform. So it is more to remember than the teachers. Please let your class reverberate the hall. Cheers, everyone. Now we are going to the last round, that is judges' round. Uh, satisfy the thought of the audience that why should we go for it? Not Indian. And the resources. My question is for resources. You can even send your uh, all the uh, information that you can provide up to Sweetie DJ. That is one thing. And my second question is, uh, please be. Yes sir, actually what I have seen, maintain and buy confirmation please be checked on the daily media. I have seen the blog. Every information which is put on the, which has to be put on the daily media can be checked by great people. And then after, after work it, is, it will be put on the video. So I think it is reliable source. It is a reliable source. Yes, ma'am. That's exactly what you said. And, and about the content that I have presented today, I can cite all the sources. I'm a better year sitting with the books that I use to. That are the sources of this book. That is one is S.K. Munro's A Book of Psychology. Then there is a famous book by Nicholas Clark's Internet Channel How the Internet is Changing Our Brains, which I would really recommend everybody here who are selling here. And so. Then that's all. That is the main goal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, how would you elaborate uh, internet as a social media? I mean, could you give me some information on that? What is your knowledge about? I feel that we can uh, we come through it immediately. At that, at that instant only, the messages are put up so that everyone is alert. So, if we take about a terrorist attack, if there is an information that terrorists are going to attack, means uh, a high alert is there. So, on social media, most of us are active. So, it is, at that instant only, we can be alerted. So, I feel that uh, it is a good use of social media. Talk against the motion. And the word creativity, as a teacher, we all expect from each one of you. And as the topic suggests that the excessive reliance on the internet is struggling people's creativity. How do you agree on that? And in your mind, how do you explain the term creativity? It is original thought.
position is led by ACS for Mumbai.